Hey guys, it's Tom from Something RS and welcome to Behind the Scenes for August 2014. First on the agenda is Plague's End, which will be a Grand Master quest to finish off the Elf quest line, starting with Plague City. This quest will act as a prelude to the opening of the Elf City, which will open next month, so you will need to do this quest in order to enter the Elf City. The quest requires level 75 in Agility, Crafting, Construction, Dungeoneering, Herb Law, Mining, Prayer, Ranged, Summoning and Woodcutting, and you'll also need to have completed Catapult Construction, Making History and Within the Light. The rewards will include 800k XP in over a few different skills, and an outfit which boosts your thieving abilities. Next up is a bunch of updates for clans which include a reworked clan camp and new Vexillum stands and a teleport flag in Berthorpe. There will also be some temporary bonuses throughout what Jagex is calling Clan Month. These include more XP from Citadel skill spots, clan avatars will give more XP, healing and damage reduction and there will also be increased bonus XP from the clan quartermaster and fealty rewards. Vexillums will also be getting a link to the clan's homepage within the Vexillums interface. There's also going to be a clan cup and registration for this will open mid-August, so keep an eye out for that if you're interested. And the cup will start at the beginning of September. Next up is an update to Slayer called Soul Reaper. Death himself will assign you to kill various bosses which will reward you with big chunks of Slayer XP for completing, as well as access to a new gem that can be crafted into new top tier jewellery that will be more powerful than Onyx, but they'll still require an Onyx to craft. You'll also unlock bigger bonuses to your health from bonfires in PVM, and your stats for each boss will now be recorded, including your quickest kills and how many times you've killed each boss. Barbarian Assault will finally be getting a much needed overhaul, which includes a new hard mode in which you'll fight the Penance King. Graphics and rewards will be updated, and you'll also get access to dual wield flamethrowers. And finally, in other news, the 1000th music track will be released this month, which is set to be rather epic, so keep your ears open for that. World map icons will be getting tweaked to look more like the old icons. A large number of dormant account names will be getting released, so snap those up while you can. And the adventurer's log will also be receiving some changes, such as a new feature to see your skill history. And that's it for this month. Thumbs up the video and subscribe if you found it useful, and I'll see you in the next video.